In the first problem, we have to find the number of bytes required to represent the decimal number 1856357. This is a seven digit, seven digit decimal number in packed BCD form. So the problem is very easy. We have a decimal number, a seven digit decimal number, and we have to represent it in packed BCD form. And finally, we have to calculate the number of bytes required to represent it. So the decimal number is one, eight five six three five seven this is the decimal number given to us and we have to represent it in packed bcd form and in packed bcd form in packed bcd form we use four bits to represent one digit we represent one digit by using four bits or we can say that we represent one digit by using one nibble because one nibble is equal to four bits or we can say that or we can say that we represent two digits by using eight bits because we use four bits to represent one digit so we use eight bits to represent two digits or two nibbles and we already know one byte one byte is equal to 8 bits this is something we already know one byte is equal to 8 bits so we can say that we use one byte to represent two digits because we are using 8 bits to represent two digits so we can say that we use one byte to represent two digits because one byte is equal to 8 bits and if you see the problem the given decimal number is having seven digits so let's see how we can solve this problem to represent 5 and 7, two digits, we will use one byte. To represent 6, 3, we will use one byte. To represent 8, 5, we will again use one byte. And now we are left with single digit. And I will add one zero to the left. This will make no difference. And we use one byte to represent zero, 1. So in total, we require four bytes to represent this decimal number so four is the answer for this first problem now we will move to second problem in the second problem the two numbers represented in signed two's complement form are p and q if q is subtracted from p the value obtained in signed two's complement form is so this is a very simple problem in this problem we have p and we have q and we have to subtract q from p we have to subtract q from p like this or we can write p plus of minus q and minus q is nothing minus q is nothing but two's complement two's complement of q so first thing you have to do is to find out two's complement of this number q and then you have to add the two's complement to the p and you have your answer if there is any overflow you have to neglect the overflow because in two's complement representation we always neglect the overflow we always discard the carry so this is what you have to do in this problem i'm not going to solve this this is homework for you so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one